are officially four weeks old today. And I'm going to show you how I do my typical chores in the morning. I have to move the chicken tractors over into a new fresh patch of grass. I have to uh, give them their food back because we took it out the night before. And I'm going to uh, replenish their water. And today I did notice the, it's been a week since they've been outside and that water container is starting to get slimy, or both of them. So I'm going to just do that one extra step and I'm going to clean out the slime off of it and uh, get it all set up. And I even got a good cut on my hand yesterday. It's a pretty good open wound, so I made sure to cover that up. You don't want to risk getting like chicken poo in your cut. So here we go. Normally I would just keep the water that's already in there from the night before, but since I'm cleaning the containers today because of that slime, I'm just dumping it all out. So I can bring it up from the front yard, hose it down. Might as well uh, clean these little bucket containers too. Chickens are upset because normally right when they see me, I have the food ready to go. I'll have to wait. Inside the buckets down here, there's a lot of gross stuff in there over time. It settles. And just so I don't waste a sponge every single time, I got some paper towels. Basically, I'm not even going to bleach it. I bleached it before. I'm just wiping it down. See all that slime stuff? Icky.
Even the lids get slimy. Well, I'm not strong enough to uh, bring the waters back completely full, so I'm just going to fill up these two uh, watering cans and bring them over and get that going. Because that hurts your fingers to carry these five gallon buckets full of water just like that with the lids on. I'll be back with your food. So we just keep our chicken feed in this can right here. There's a decent amount of feed in here. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, I just spilled it. Sorry to show you. Whoops. That was dumb. I have to clean that up. You get the point though. So it's somewhat filled. You want to fill it up more. They eat a lot. I already have to get more food. It goes quick. I really do have to clean that up on the floor. That will attract mice. I don't have to fill it completely to the top yet. It gets really heavy for me, but decent amount. You can see, that's about what I fill it up to right now. They're four weeks. All right, so first order of business, I have to move these chicken tractors into the new grass. And this one is the hardest to move because once you get in that door, the chickens just stand on your feet and it's so hard to walk. So I have a little trick for myself. Jeff doesn't have that hard of a time, but I do. I always bring one of the feeders behind the chicken tractor. It works every time. They run over to it because they're little dum-dums and they all stay there hoping for that food and then I bring their actual food really quickly in, I put it down, and then I'm able to quickly move the chicken tractor. It works for me. I just put their other food that I'm actually going to put in their tractor right off to the side where they can't see it. So I'm ready to go and switch it up really quick. All right. Put that there. Do you see this? Oh my. Every time. You would think they would get used to that. Nope. Now that they are being tricked. Put this in. Bada bing, bada boom. 
and some of them still don't understand that I actually just put their food inside. They're still gonna stay there at the end, so I have to take that away now. <laughs> you guys, look at this. Your food is already in there. I have to move the chicken tractor. <laughs> take their food out. There you go, let's go. Now I have to get the wheels on. While they're occupied with their food, I don't have to worry about hurting any of them. You can see they have beginnings of new fresh patch of grass. So I have to move that feed back to the new grass again and move it over one more time. <laughs> I don't like when I move it. All right, guys, watch out. You have to watch their feet. Oh, no, no. Come on. Watch out. Okay. You want to put it pretty close to the door. It gives you a lot of room to move still if you want. Woo. Okay. So that's good. Just as a tip, you always wanna leave a little bit of fresh grass right here. It just helps you when you're walking around and taking the uh, wheels off. Obviously they're not the cleanest wheels. Definitely get dirty doing this. But I'm gonna take those wheels off and then get to the next tractor. These poor guys are waiting patiently. I know. I know, you're not happy with me. This is taking a little longer this morning. I know, I know. Let me get the wheels. Yeah, so both tractors have their plus and minuses. The pro to this one is you can just dump this wherever you want. Okay. Now that they're occupied, I'm going to move it and do the same thing. Slowly move the food over as I move it too. So I just moved it. You can see a little bit of fresh grass right here. And I basically just shush them out. I gotta move it. My band-aid's falling off. <laughs> All right guys, I gotta move it. Watch out, little fatties. Okay, okay. So now that gives me more room. Now that gives me more room to move it again. Band-Aid's not staying on. Lovely. Okay. All right, so like I said, normally there's more water in the container when I come in the morning and don't actually have to clean it out. And I just refill it with one of these watering cans. But uh, today is gonna be such a hot day. I'm gonna have to come out here in the middle of the day and check on their water and just give them 
more water. Sometimes I put ice in it if I have time. I try to be a good chicken mom. It is a hot one today. I am sweating already. Woo. Yeah, I take this back. I'm gonna go get more water. They need more, just in case I don't get out here in time. You can't risk them running out of water. You can see how much is left. You can, you can see how much water is in there. It's about up to here. Definitely want a little bit more in there. I will be right back. Okay. I'm glad I'm filling it all the way to the top. Better be safe, especially how hot it is today. I always kind of find where the hole is. I start pouring into it. And then just flip it. I'll just get a rock. I don't know if I need one, but just in case. While this is filling up, I'll go get the other one done. Oh, you guys must be thirsty. I know. Actually pretty flat right here. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. And that's a chicken in four weeks. Incredible how they grow. They're still kind of cute. They do get mean. I know. You can't help it, you're a rooster. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Okay. That water is actually leveled without the rock. I just put the rock on top of it, lock it up. They're good. That water's good with the rock. Shut it, give them some shade. Don't want any hawks snatching them up. Wheels are both off. We have some happy chickens now. Hello guys. And you can actually see this is what starts happening to our lawn. You can see the different patches. Lots of rain will just quickly get this back to normal but we don't care this is what we're proud of <laughs> I triple check everything it is locked I have woken up in the middle of the night having a panic thinking I didn't lock it and yes I have gone out here to check <laughs> and we're good uh, one last thing to note since I was recording this it definitely took me longer so uh, 
figured I'm just gonna keep them with their feed probably an extra half hour tonight. And I'm pretty serious about that. So is Jeff. We want them to have equal amount of time getting their feed and uh, then we'll take it away. Probably be a little bit darker when we take the feed away tonight.